This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. In Chapter 6, this is Section 22. The Importance of an Invitation Friend How do you deal with people who have all these beliefs about the body? It may be that they are taking lots of supplements or have certain types of diets or exercise regimes. Do you ever say anything to them unsolicited? David No, it is really upon invitation. Someone who is sincere about the mind training may say something like, Please help me out in any way that you can. Please point out anything that you see that could be helpful in releasing the ego. That is an open invitation. Even then, what would be shared is not so much an attempt to correct a brother, but rather just answering the call. When I travel, people around me may talk about dietary things, or they may seem to be addicted or trapped or enslaved by a number of things. I am there to join and to rejoice in the joy of the moment and not to point things out. We have stayed with people who seem to be struggling in many areas but are not actively asking for things to be pointed out. It has been a great experience for me. People will say, Oh, I so enjoyed your visit. And I just loved your being here. They appreciate the joy and the peace and the sense of non-judgment. That feeling is more likely to inspire them to make the inner changes necessary for letting old patterns fall away more so than being told to look at specific things. Correction like that can feel like judgment or criticism. The invitation is essential before I will point out specifics. But when we are joining in the awakening, as we go much deeper, we will uncover many ego defense mechanisms, which is really where the problem is. It is in the mind. It is not in the behaviors. Behaviors rise automatically out of beliefs and the thoughts. I try to join with people in purpose and to work with the beliefs and the thoughts. I really do not notice the behaviors. Just live as you would live, and let's share the joy.